Um, hey everyone. Uh, wait, what? Microphone. Oh, microphone. Whoa. <laughs> no wonder everyone is staying here. Okay. Um, so I'm Peter, and behind me are Max and Claire. We built tapioca. Um, so tapioca is an internal QA framework. Um, what we wanted this to be is a way for employees within a company to ask questions and uh, answer those questions, and then have a vote, um, a transparent vote on the popular opinion within a company at this given time. Um, all results, current and historic, are posted publicly on the chain, so we can confirm that there's been no like censorship or tampering uh, by the, the company in terms of like votes or content. Uh, and then the membership is managed by DAO, so employees within the organization um, will basically propose when new members join, and then they can vote on those um, members, and then um, that will decide like whether new people can join in the organization and ask questions and participate. Uh, and then the same process is done to remove people from the organization. So why do companies want to use Tapioca? Well, there's two main things. The first is it gives leadership an opportunity to receive honest feedback. And the second thing is it boosts employee engagement. And both these factors combined have shown in studies to increase productivity, lower, um, increase retention rates, and across the board, improve profitability. So why do we need blockchain at all for this? So fundamentally, the trust gap we're trying to bridge is the one between employees and upper-level management who might be suspected to have external motives or um, motivated to manipulate or control the content in a certain way in their own self-interest, but perhaps against the interests of the company. For example, when I was at Twitter, we had a platform similar to this, and they made some controversial decisions around what questions they removed and um, answers they removed as well. And so we believe that these three factors above, immutability, transparency, and decentralization that's manifested in the DAO, um, eliminate this issue and provide, promote confidence in the platform that they can trust. The, the opinions expressed in this platform are consistent with those across the company. Cool, so now let's start and look at our demo. Um, so we have a short demo here. Uh, you can see we're gonna start off by submitting a question um, about the company, and for the sake of this demo, we'll be making the voting period length just a minute, and I'll also be voting on our own question um, so that it goes through faster. Um, but as you see, you can submit the question here, um, and then you can put up a bounty value for um, how much your response would, the responder would receive. And you can set the voting period length um, here, and you want to publish that on the blockchain. Once it's confirmed, it'll appear on the feed. And then you can view the answers. Uh, you can submit an answer yourself. And then similar fashion to the question, um, when you submit it, you publish it on the blockchain. Um, you can see the MetaMask there, everything's sped up. Um, and you can also upvote things. Again, all, these, all this information is published on the blockchain um, for the reasons that Max discussed earlier. So now, uh, the next comment that we'll look at is you can also view the questions that you have answered. Um, and we'll see a little bit later, that's how you can kind of uh, withdraw your bounty. So the next thing we're doing is we can add a new member um, and create a member proposal. So what that means is you're proposing that a new member is added to this DAO. Uh, so you can see here the new member proposal, you can vote on it, and then for the sake, we set it to one minute as a voting period. And then now we'll just wait a little bit as that voting period for both the question that we just submitted as well as the member proposal we just submitted um, passes. And when that happens, we'll be able to view uh, the results of um, that happens on the contract side and then, then populates the server side of what's happening. So you can see here uh, that the question has just expired. We can view the answers and we can see that the one with the highest upvotes just won. And you can then choose to withdraw your bounty um, and that completes that component. And then if we go back and look at the members and the member proposal, the proposal that was there has finished and you can now see that the member that we just uh, voted to add has joined um, the organization and now has privileges in uh, being a part of the process. So, yeah. Thank you.